Checked out of Cape Verde. Oh, really? We gotta go at uh, another anchorage just to grab a new crew that came on board yesterday so we could uh, do our safety drills. And we are thinking tomorrow morning we'll start the crossing. Uh, if the weather is good, we'll, uh, we'll check it tonight and tomorrow morning, obviously, before departure. So, yeah, we are kind of doing this and yeah, leaving this anchorage, it's not the most beautiful anchorage. True, they are getting busy from what it seems. Verde is January 6th. If you want to, if not. The hour it's around 8. And we are picking up the anchor. That means we are about to set sail for the next 12 to 14 days. We are going across the ocean. Excited? Very excited. Happy to be here. Oh, excited and nervous, I think everybody. Babe? Happy dance. I'll give you the video, I'll just put yeah. the engine on. I was just gonna offer to do that. How do you feel about leaving Africa? Ah, uh, I am so joyful. <laughs> <laughs> so joyful. That's it's like nervous, but a good one. Yeah, because that is the last land you'll see for two weeks. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and the journey begins. According to the routing I just downloaded, we have 2,500 nautical miles to go, but uh, in reality it should be more around 2,200, 2,300. It gives me a time frame of 428 hours, 438, depending, the speed is changing. It's a lot of variables. Here is the crew, all super excited. And here is the last land we'll see for the next 12, 14 days. Hello from day two. It was a bit hectic yesterday, night shift, but it was okay. Something that we're not used to as we are the Mediterranean sailors, we have the car sail up. So what happened is that I started my shift at 11 and then around uh, the wind started to go up and down quite fast, changing quite fast. Um, so I kept observing it and the speed or ground was about down to 2.5 up to 4 so I was not feeling too comfortable because it was uh, power, depowering and powering itself and uh, flopping around so yeah it was not consistent we don't have the wind uh, consistent so therefore yeah I woke Bobby up and we put the parasail down and then uh, we tried to put the main and Genoa up. We were not doing that much speed, and then they put them down. We didn't have the wind properly. We put them down, we tried to mop her with both engines, <laughs> and then with the both engines and almost 2,000 RPM or so, uh, 
we were doing maximum five knots, so it wasn't still working uh, properly. But anyway, yeah, and then uh, that's the situation right now. The parasail is doing its magic, all good. Bobby called them Mahi Mahi, and we're gonna have uh, it's for lunch with some fancy salad and it's good supper. Hard but functional is the first day. This is the second day. I think in a couple of days we'll be able to start feeling natural with the condition of the sea. Because yeah, ocean uh, is not something that I'm used to and I don't yet understand its language properly. But I think I'm going to start uh, feeling natural with it in a couple of days. I'm feeling that myself, that sheds. We are taking Cape Verde flag down. So, what you doing mid Atlantic? <laughs> I'm making pastries. Okay, you're you're getting yourself busy, which is nice. Yes, it's the first day, so the first day I already started with these pastries. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We started this morning, but we already cannot see any land around us. Yeah. yeah. So what are these pastry made of? It's the dough, the basic dough. Some milk cake, mix, and cheese. Huh? But I'm just going to flip through the little red book and see if this is on our list of items to eat during the day. <laughs> yeah, make sure she, she respects her menu. No, I am respecting my menu, and I am, like... Making sure that everything gets eaten. No, <laughs> no, no, no. The ingredients I'm using, they're oh. not exactly hard. Yes. A board rule makes a very happy crew. Did you yeah. manage to sleep? <laughs> of course not. I did later, though. Yeah, same here. Yeah. Went downstairs, tried and tried. Ooh la la. This looks good. Yeah. I need answers. You need us? We are 400 miles from the nearest piece of land. Yeah, surely not that it's much more. morning from the fourth day we just caught a fish that broke the line it was a big guy obviously yeah, yeah. and it was quick 30 seconds and then it breaks the line anyway this is the state of the sea today a bit cloudy and anyway literally i just put the genoa in and then 15 seconds later the guy manages to escape <sighs> So let me give you the numbers. So we've done so far 389 nautical miles. Our maximum speed was 9.5 knots. Uh, but we put a point in here. We're gonna be reaching there to change our course. Okay, I'm gonna put the gym back. How do you feel? 
feel, Skipper? Oh, really? I'm feeling good. It. It's the third day, actually. It's the fourth day, I'm sorry. And it's <laughs> quite a, a hard to keep. How many days it passed? What is it? What time is it? What's the date? Anyway. It's been how many days that we are having a strong sea under us? <laughs> Two days? Yeah, and it's only going to get stronger, unfortunately. Yeah. So we'll see. Okay, something going on yeah, here. Don't worry. It's good. Yeah, yeah. You know what's the problem? We just have plans here for the last 15 days. <laughs> 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 yeah. Please, the four screws. Okay, I'll need the, the pliers that they are by the fishing. Yeah. I got one. Is this good? Yeah, and please close the navigation and tell Ivan to only navigate by the compass. Evan, I'm going to turn off the navigation and you can use the compass to steer. Yeah. Okay. And even if you know, I don't think he cares. Good morning. So today we are doing 
doing some nice sailing. Between 7 and 9, we have 15 knots of breeze. See, it's a bit agitated, but it's manageable. I know it's because I'm more comfortable every day it passes. Today it's the beginning of the eighth day. Yeah, we still have a thousand feet, 281 miles. At this speed, uh, yeah, you get it quite fast. But during the night, I'm kind of slow as hell. I prefer to go at like ideally at five, but even if I go at 3.5, it's still better than going at 8, 9 at night. Since we don't see the waves, uh, there is no wall. prefer to go slower. Anyway, should take us another 10 days. More or less, hopefully less. By tomorrow, we should reach midpoint. Do we have a special dinner for midpoint? I'll check. I was thinking making schnitzel. Yeah, I don't know. Like at Christmas, we had schnitzel? Yeah, maybe. You're all ready with your gloves on, huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready for anything. No, okay. And uh, I had the chance to listen to my sister's single in the middle of the ocean. She released it yesterday, and it's called Shallow Fort. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just, we are quite far from the shallow fort. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave a link somewhere so that you can guys check it out. It's a beautiful song. Yeah. Anyway, cheers from the middle of the ocean. Daily life on the passage. What do you do, you guys? Today is we are on thirteenth day. I don't know what day is today. Oh yeah. Yeah. We have a birdie <laughs> flying around. This guy here, Captain, he's watching a Netflix series. Breaking Bad. Wow. Out of everything. This guy here looks very comfy, I don't know what he's up to. But... Yeah, he's the sleeper. So check with the Nami on it because I just woke up from the Nami. There you go. He's the master sleeper, he sleeps for all of us. That's right. You took a nice afternoon nap that you did not even have the lunch. Yeah, well last night I did not sleep at all. So. Still have five days to go, six. Just, it's been like... 24 hours we are in the washing machine. We're doing okay. How are you? And we have a teeny tiny strawberry Someone here. Somebody took my new cable. I'm doing way better. You're I've got way tea. Better. I've got crackers. Yeah, you what got your good? series or solitaire going on? Solitaire. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we do, <laughs> you know, in the past. Exactly. We've got our routines. Yeah. yeah. It's how we get through. You make shower, sure you shower at least every second day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so for we don't sure. smell like we've been out sea for two weeks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She even did a laundry. Uh, <laughs> yes. With bare hands bare today. Bare hands, <laughs> yes. Going back to my, my ancestors. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know how I look. Today is the 13th day or what is? 12? Heaven knows. Wow. Heaven knows. 
Evan. What day we are today? Well, it is the eleventh. Eleventh. Yeah. You're on eleventh day. Twelfth. Twelfth. Going in for twelfth day. Going into our twelfth day. Today is the twelfth day. Here's the guy who records everything. Yeah. Trying. <laughs> you say it's twelfth. Well? He's trying. He, he slept most of the part whenever he made it. <laughs> <laughs> So according so, to him, this is his fourth day. Yeah. <laughs> he has we're only got, slept for at least eight left. days. I'm pretty sure he's just <laughs> ripped with the fat wrinkle of disease. In a way, this is what I baked oh, yesterday. Not, we have some I, bread. I a couple more days on here. This is our usual breakfast. Yeah, we're doing good. That's it. So we still have 575 nautical miles to go. We had some rain, having some rain since yesterday. We have, from time to time, over 30 knots of wind. Uh, swells are big. They make the boat turn left and right. And it's like this, it's been like, I don't know, two days, three days. It was like a bit of a washing machine. Up and down. So when you sit by the dining area, you can see the way the big scroll touching the tip of the solar panel. So kind of swarmy. Same place. Good morning, day 14. Hopefully we have two more days to go. It's been four days. It's like this. We are surfing down waves. And I don't know, the waves, they say they are, on the prediction day, they say they're only like three meters, but I saw even over five. I'm a bit scared, like, especially during the night that, for example, since last night. Problem is, like, we are used to, like, swells. But when it's three full meter waves, that they are about to break on top of you, this is where I'm kind of, like, stressed and scared. Sun is about to come up, so. Usually during the day, I'm a bit more relaxed. At least we can see them. Something happens. It's always easier to work during the day. The nights kind of stress me out, especially, you know, like when you surf down a wave at 13 knots and you don't see anything. It's a bit scary, it's a bit stressful. I'm sure that on the video looks like we are in a really nice, but in reality it's not nice. I'm exhausted. Can't wait to reach it. And uh, can't wait to reach Barbados. Probably I'll take a day 
without doing anything, drop the anchor and just stay in the bedroom. But the last push, 300 miles to go. Hopefully, we'll reach there safe and sound. Cheers. So, here we are in uh, Squall. Ah, it's black all around us though. And over there looks a bit okay, but... Good morning. Good morning. Excited? Not, not, not excited. I have no more energy to push for so excited. <laughs> I'm rather tired. But uh, there is one feeling I have. I'm grateful. Yeah? Yeah, we did it and everything was so good. 26 miles to go out of 2200. Still cannot see any land in sight, but last stretch, and uh, yeah, we did it. Two newbies that a year ago had no idea how to raise a sail, just crossed an ocean with the depth, and we had two, thank God that. It actually was quite good to have two. It helped, it helped uh, divide the tasks, it helped the uh, shifts. Uh, we managed to get a bit more sleep. Not me, not necessarily. I did not get this every time something would new noise would come or this, I would be up. But nonetheless, it helped, uh, especially during the day. I would try to go downstairs and sleep. Last five days, they were rock and roll. Last stretch, it's inside. Uh, we should be there in uh, to the anchorage around in five hours, something like that. This is it. We almost did it. We have to go put the yellow flag up in a bit, but I want to do that on daylight and hopefully we'll manage to see some land. Because like we are excited to see the land, but we still, you know, like we're so close yet so far away because we cannot see it. Anyway, chips. So, land the room. We spot the land five, ten minutes ago. It's a bit cloudy out to see it on the camera. And they go by naked eye. According to the side, we are 10 nautical miles, the closest point. I'm uh, gonna give them a call. Barbados Port Authority, Barbados Port Authority, Barbados Port Authority. This is MBR Cat, MBR Cat, MBR Cat calling you on channel 1. Or Barbados Port Authority, Barbados Port Authority, Barbados Port Authority. MBR Cat, MBR Cat, MBR Cat calling you on channel. Barbados Port Authority, Barbados Port Authority, Barbados Port Cat, MBR Cat calling you on channel. One Authority, Barbados Port Authority, Barbados MBR Cat, MBR Cat calling you on channel. One Four. MBR Cat, MBR Cat, MBR Cat. No, we'll try it later again. Another part here, and the biggest heart goes to this captain. Hi, 
Hi, Steve. How, how are you feeling? Uh, disappointed. Very disappointed. Is that it? Yeah. I liked it so much. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. I thought so. <laughs> but lovely to have you. Thank you. Really. Thank you, Steve. What a pleasure to have you. Thank you. Hi, Strawberry. Hello. How are you feeling? <laughs> I feel accomplished. Think of all the There were long as I was playing a game, and I was just sucking off. But here we are, we did it, and I'm yeah. so happy. And it was yes. been absolutely amazing, and we sailed with the best possible folks ever. And I it was agree. an opportunity to do it. It was an amazing opportunity. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bridget. It was a pleasure to have you. Like, I feel so lucky to have you guys on board with us. It made the crossing extremely pleasant having you. There is this, yes, exactly. Yeah. How are you too? And Evan! Uh, hello! How are you? <laughs> are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling excited to see actual land for the first time in two and a half weeks. It's unbelievable. Right? But it's kind of a bittersweet feeling because it's also the signal that our adventure is yeah. coming to an end. I know. But it is beautiful to see land and other people and other boats and other stuff. Something besides waves. Yeah. It's been an awesome trip. Yeah. We're all going to be walking like baby deer. Yeah, we're going to be walking like baby deer after this. I'm going to be recording that. <laughs> Your first steps on land. Down. <laughs> it was a pleasure to have you guys. Oh, it was a pleasure to be aboard. Yes. yes. It was amazing. We made it. We are on land. It feels strange, definitely. We made it. Thank you, Yeah. She brought us nice. <laughs>